Yo, what is going on, homies? It's your boy Stumped back for another OPTC video, and in today's video, we're hopping into the new Kazuna Clash that has arrived over here on the global side of the game against uh, Kazuna Doflamingo. So in today's video, we will be testing uh, the teams that I had for you guys in the prep video. Now, I'm not going to be testing both the free-to-play teams. I'm only going to be testing the one that uses a Croc friend captain, because ideally, you, um, you kind of want those extra tickets especially because the nami super evolution is actually very very good not to mention nami as well but also the sakazuki and borsalino crystals are back in the kazuna boxes so you really want to make sure that you guys can try and take out box six now there are a lot of strategies that people like to use when it comes to kazuna i do know my boy pappy is a big fan of the suicide strat if you have some good friends don't be afraid to just enter and then leave and let them save you that way you guys get the points as well if you are struggling with some of the higher difficulties um, but you really want to make sure that you do include the free-to-play gym bay somewhere and try and bring a friend croc if you have access to one. Now, as I mentioned, I do have two free-to-play teams for you guys. Uh, I won't be testing both, but we um, we will be testing the one with the croc friend captain as that's the one that's primarily the one that you want to be going for. But the, the, the team should work absolutely fine. I don't think they'll have any issues, even the one that doesn't use a friend captain croc. So... Shout out to the guys in stream. We are, are over here on stream, as you can see, uh, with the overlay uh, live. So, big shout out to you guys. If you guys do want to join the stream, uh, keep an eye out. Hit that bell notification on the channel. That way, you are informed every time I am streaming, as I do stream over on YouTube as well. Um, so, make sure to come out. We have a lot of fun over there on the streams. But, I'm just going to farm up some of these coins real quick. We got very lucky with the buggy duping there. That's why you want to run buggy. I'm just going to farm up some coins real quick, and um, we'll get back to it in two seconds. Alright, so the first variation of Doflamingo is the Dex variant. So we, we, we will be testing um, the free-to-play team that I do have built for you guys. Now, I just remembered that this is not actually the free-to-play team that I need. We need this free-to-play team. That uh, Marco and Ace team you did see, that is the other uh, free-to-play team that I was, uh, well, that I did put together for you guys. You do want to make sure you bring a Verse Ace if you are utilizing that team, as that way you have access to a much better captain. But for this particular team, we are using a friend Croc. We do have the... Um, free to play Jinbei on this team. So that was the team. Those are the supports. Let's dive in. R running a friend Croc is very, very nice because he is super effective against all types, which is great. Uh, and, but unfortunately, with this particular team, our treasure map kid captain, he only boosts um, strength units, which is a little bit of a bummer, but it's not the end of the world as um, we are relying on sort of back ended damage here. Alright, so Buggy's going to give us our cooldowns, which is really, really nice, to Cerebral's Free Spirit and Driven Units, I'm pretty sure it was. Um, and then ideally, we just want to take out these Turtles. Remember that the Free-to-Play Jinbei is also super effective against all types, so including him on teams where he's boosted, he's going to do very, very well as well. On Stage 2, we come up against Mihawk. Now, Mihawk has a 12-hit barrier. He gives us a full board of unfavorable slots, and then he locks those slots. So what we're going to do here is we're going to use our Kid Special, Kid is going to give us a full board of orbs, and that's pretty much all he's going to do. And then we're actually going to use the Dofi and Treble special. Now, Dofi and Treble are going to give us a chain lock, and if we hit four perfects, we can actually carry that into the next room. Now, because Mihawk has a barrier, we can easily break his barrier, as we do need to actually hit with uh, four units anyway. And with that, oh, are we actually not going to have the damage here? Wow, we didn't have the damage. That was actually pretty surprising to me. I actually thought we'd have the damage fairly easily. Now he puts up damage reduction. Okay, wow. Wow, 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 wow. I'm actually super, super shocked that uh, this team didn't have the damage to take that out then. I wonder if we can get through the damage reduction. Yeah, right. Okay, I did not expect that at all. So, unfortunately, this team does struggle a little bit for damage. Oh, for fuck's sake. We're actually going to get our specials roll back now, too. That's actually very annoying, but lucky for us, Kid actually rolls our specials backwards. Um, so that actually works quite nicely. Are we going to have the damage to even kill Mihawk here? I'm actually super shocked that this team did not have the damage, honestly. Like, I'm... Genuinely shocked. Okay, now that the barrier's gone, though, we are in good stead. So this particular team, I would recommend probably using the other team. 
Uh, that team shouldn't have any issues with damage whatsoever. But the beautiful thing about running Kid is he actually is immune to special rewind. So, well, he removes two turns of it, I should say. So once we hit the Dofi stage, he's immune to everything, but he doesn't have full immunity, which means you can use stuff like the burn mechanic. He gives us six turns of attack down, as well as special sealing our top and bottom row. So we can use our Jinbei special here. Jinbei is going to remove the special bind for us, which is great. We can then use our Croc special to give us color affinity, as well as removing the attack down. We've got uh, Chopper here. He's going to give us an attack boost, as well as rotate some matching orbs. And then we have the special roll forward with Weevil, as well as an orb boost with Weevil. I am going to switch with my Dofi in Trouble just to make another matching orb here. But the problem with that is that we're not actually going to have any damage on that particular unit. So you do want to hit with your strength units last. And with that, we just have enough damage. So again, this particular team isn't exactly the go for. I would probably recommend using the Verse Ace hybrid team, as that team should work a little bit nicer. But... I mean, this team still managed to get it done for the early stages, or if you are doing some early requests. But, I mean, it is a full free-to-play team anyway, so ideally, you don't really want to be running it, as I imagine most of you guys have done some summons, and you should have some, some better units. So, let's move on to the next team now. Alright, so moving on to the big ticket team now against the Dex variation. We are using Double Croc as well as bringing Jinbei. So this is the particular team that we are using. It does have some uh, pretty notable legends on it with Verse Kaido and Mihawk and Perona. Now Mihawk and Perona are great because there is no full immunity, so you can actually get their conditional boost off. If you guys are missing Croc, you can easily make Kaido your captain. That should work fairly fine. And then replace Croc with another unit that can... Uh, I can't even remember what Croc really does for this particular fight. I just know that he's really good because he's super effective against all types. Um, but I guess we'll figure that out once we get to it. So there's just so many things in my head right now, and I just, I'm just i just blanking when it comes to what this actual content does. Once we get to stage 2, though, we come up against Mihawk. Now, Mihawk has a 12-hit barrier for 4 turns, gives us a full board of unfavorable slots, and uh, locks those slots. So what we can do here is we can use the Mihawk and Perona switch ability. That's going to give us that negative effect. And then we can actually use one of our Croc Specials. Now, the reason we're going to be using one of the Croc Specials here is just to get Color Affinity because we have the um, Super Effective against all types with Jinbei and our two Crocodiles. So we just want to break this barrier here. Make sure to attack with uh, Jinbei when you get down to the four because Jinbei actually has a five hit counter. And with that, we can actually just take out that stage easy peasy. Once we move on to the final stage now, we come up against Doflamingo, who has full immunity, well, doesn't have full immunity, but is immune to defense down, poison, and uh, delay. He's going to give our bottom row and top row special bind for four turns, as well as six turns of attack down. So we can use the Jinbei special here. Jinbei is actually going to rotate all of our unfavorable orbs. So keeping those unfavorable orbs kind of works in our favor, even though it does struggle to do the damage on the previous turn. We can then switch with Mihawk and Perona to apply the negative effect. We've got Croc to remove the attack down we've got the conditional boost with mihawk and perona we've got an attack boost to our entire crew with the verse kaido special and then we also have the support of zoro for a chain lock which is really nice finally we've got weevil weevil is here uh mainly for an orb booster as well as uh rolling our specials forward so once we get to stage 30 plus it is going to work quite nicely because weevil can actually roll those specials forward as well as change um, unfavorable orbs and stuff as well. And with that, we should be able to just absolutely destroy Dofi here. Easy peasy. Now, that team should work um, for, for quite a while. The only thing that it does sort of struggle with is the previous stage where we, um, we don't have those matching orbs. But I do imagine we could probably do some shenanigans um, with Jinbei or something like that. Uh, see if we can find another orb booster or something like that as well. But that team should work fairly fine. Let's move on to the big damage team now. All right, so moving on to the big damage team against the Dex variation of Doflamingo, we're actually utilizing a friend super type Sabo with a verse ace captain. Now, the idea of this particular team is it's all built around back ended damage and works very, very nicely. So, this is the team, these are the supports. Let's dive in. The only noticeable support on this particular team is actually Arena Franasuke. He goes on our free-to-play Pirate Rumble Usopp. Now, Usopp has five turns of attack down removal, and with the support of Arena Franasuke, we can actually turn that into a um, seven turns of attack down. Now, on the very first turn, we want to try, if we can, to farm up some of the uh, orbs for the Verse Ace special. Now, the idea of farming up these orbs is so that we can actually get access to the Verse ability, 
but it is going to be a little bit of a struggle as this team actually has a lot of damage and is super effective against the turtles on stage two we come up against mihawk now mihawk is going to put up a 12 hit barrier give us a full board of unfavorable orbs and lock those orbs but with verse ace as our captain we actually turn all of those orbs into favorable which is uh actually really really nice we actually really want to use this time as well to actually farm up some orbs for the verse ability if we can but we do want to hit a bunch of perfects as well as we do want the carryover of our super type sabo as well beautiful so with the six orbs we can actually get the verse ability of ace as well so it's going to work really nicely if you need to and you don't need the orb on sabo you can actually switch into koala to give yourself a little bit more color affinity once we hit the final stage against doflamingo he is going to put up basically all the immunities besides full immunity which is actually really nice and he gives us six turns of attack down as well as special one on our top and bottom row units what we're going to do here, we're going to use our uh, Jinbei special. Jinbei is actually going to rotate all those unfavorable slots as well as remove the um, special binds. We can use the Verse Ace special to give ourselves a strength orb and give us the conditional boost. We can use the Verse Ace special now. Verse Ace is going to give us a full border orbs, which we really don't need, but also a 2.5 times attack boost and a chain lock starting at 2.5. We've then got our... Uh, Usopp special he can actually roll for uh, specials forward not that we really need it with uh, verse ace as our captain but he's here to remove the attack down we have an attack boost with our sabo and koala uh, 2.25 to our free spirits which this whole team is besides jimbei but he's cerebral so he actually gets a buff too and then we've got odin odin can give us a full board of wano orbs which is a little bit unnecessary but it's still going to be quite nice now i actually forgot to use the super typing of sabo but as you guys can see there with the super typing live and the chain multiplier buff Ace is hitting for like ridiculous numbers and this team is not going to have any issues whatsoever moving forward. Um, when it does become a little bit too tricky, we can replace Jinbei with like Mihawk Perona. That way we don't have to worry about trying to get that burn. But this particular team, it is, um, it's not going to have any issues. So let's move on to the next color now. All right, so moving on to the next variation of Doflamingo, we come up against the Strength variation. Now, I did put together a Queen-based team that uses a friend Croc and also has Jinbei on it. It will work for the early stages, but once it starts getting a little bit more tricky, you just want to sort of bring a Versa Kainu friend. Now, I did actually just jump into this before and totally forgot that I wasn't actually running the correct ship. So I just missed out on the damage on turn two, which means that I had to do re redo the run. So... This sort of won't give you a rough idea of how much HP the, the final enemy has, but it'll give you an idea that the team does still work. Once it starts to sort of run out of damage, like I said, you do want to replace the friend Crocodile with a Versa Kainu friend if you guys are struggling with this and you are looking to use this particular team. But like I said, you do have the Suicide Strat, um, so you can sort of use that. Now, on turn two, we come up against Boa, who has four turns of damage reduction. We can actually remove that with our Queen special, and then we can give ourselves an Orb buff with the bellamy special now bellamy's going to make some more matching orbs as well but with the um damage reduction gone and then hitting three of our perfects with the mama shanta we're going to have a lot of extra damage and that way we can easily take out boa now i wasn't really paying attention when i was doing my first run against dofi but if he doesn't blow away positive effects which he doesn't look like he does yeah, so he doesn't blow away positive effects, so you can easily use the King special on the previous turn as well. Dofi has five turns of damage reduction, as well as giving us a full board of block orbs. So we can actually remove the block orbs with our Jinbei special. The Orobi special we're going to be using later on when um, he does put the bind up on our top and bottom rows. But for the meantime, we can remove the defense up with Croc. We can use the Bellamy special for more, um, an, uh, sorry, an orb boost. And then we can use King for an attack boost. Now, as I mentioned, once this team sort of starts to struggle for damage, you can easily replace um, Croc with a Versa Kainu friend captain. And then you can actually replace the uh, Jinbei with another unit to remove defense up, like um, Don Krieg and Jin would be a really good shout. Or... Um, just basically any any unit that can remove five turns of defense up but that was the free to play um quick team it worked fairly well let's move on to the uh the big ticket team now moving on to the big ticket team now against the strength variation of do flamingo and once again we are using double croc with the jimbei uh, as a crewmate hopefully we've got soccer tier beautiful and we are running a full cerebral based team now i did really want to include sugar in here as sugar is just an absolute god when it comes to kazuna but um, 
with this particular team, I do have some other ideas with using like Versa Kino and stuff like that, as Croc is a driven and cerebral booster. So we're going to get all our cooldowns here as strength, decks, and quick characters get their cooldowns. And then we can just sort of tear our way through the, the turtles. Once we hit stage two, we come up against Boa, who has four turns of damage reduction. With the four turns of damage reduction, uh, we can actually remove that with our uh, Neptune special. Neptune is also going to give us color affinity for this particular stage as well. Now, if there is a well, no blow away mechanic on the next stage, we actually want to use one of our Croc specials first. Now, the reason we want to do that is because we have two Croc specials. Croc just gives a little bit of a higher color affinity booster. But like I said, I just, there's so much going on right now, and I've just totally forgot if Dofi actually blows away your positive effects. I don't think he does from memory with the with the Queen team. No, he does not. So if you like, what you want to do is, is just use the Croc special on uh, the turn before. But if you are using Jinbei, uh, Jinbei works nicely because you can get Color Affinity across both the stages. So we have uh, VV Rebecca's switch ability and their special to give us an orb, attack boost, and remove bind when that becomes a problem on turn 30. We can then use our Jinbei special to rotate those nasty block orbs. And then we can use our Croc special to either give us two times Color Affinity, but mainly just to remove the defense up. We also have the support of Mr. One on our Crocodile, giving us a chain boost mechanic. So that way, when we use the Sugar special and turn everyone into bears, we're starting the chain multiplier at... 2.83 which is really nice and then going up to 3.7 so massive chain boost for this particular team it is not going to see any issues moving forward and uh, will work very very well for a very long time so let's move on to the big damage team against strength now all right so the final team for the strength variation is utilizing a friend crocodile with versa kainu so wait yeah, this team. This is the particular team we're going to be rocking. It is full driven and powerhouse based, or it does have some sort of cerebral tag, just like the uh, uh, Sengoku does. So this particular team should have a lot of damage, but just like the Verse A special that we saw in the um, previous team, we are going to struggle a little bit by getting those um, orbs for a Kainu. The beautiful thing about using um, Ku not Kuzan, Sengoku though, is Sengoku actually lets us start with a full board of uh, quick orbs. Now, with this particular team, you don't actually need Kaido. Uh, if you don't have super type Kaido, you can easily run the free to play Jinbei. That Jinbei is going to work absolutely fine for the meantime, but Kaido is just going to allow you to do so much extra damage. Once we hit stage uh, two, we come up against Boa. Now, Boa is going to have four turns of damage reduction, which we can easily remove with our Queen special. And as you guys can see here, unfortunately, we're actually not going to have access to a Kainu's Verse ability, which would actually give us a lot more damage, as that way we can actually get a conditional boost on the next stage. But as you guys can see there, we did manage to farm up the orbs. This team has a lot of damage, but I imagine there is a way to actually farm them on turn one. So if you guys manage to do that, you're going to have even more damage. On the final stage against Doflamingo, though, he is going to give us a full board of block orbs and has five turns of defense up. So we can actually give ourselves a full board of orbs with the Akainu special, giving us a full board of quick orbs, which we have full matching for this particular team. We have an attack boost with our Smoker special. Smoker is a 2.5 times attack boost to our quick units. Unfortunately, that doesn't include Croc, but it's not that big of a deal. We can remove the... Um, well, sorry, the, I was like, what have I got Sengoku here for? Sengoku's here to remove the bind later on after stage 30. But we have double damage with Kaido, as well as giving us a full border orbs. And then we can actually remove the defense up with our Croc special. Now, this particular team isn't going to be like a great assumption on like how much damage. Mainly because we don't have that extra conditional boost from a Kainu. But doing 122 mil with a Kainu, this team's not going to struggle one bit. And it's going to see play like way down the line. Um, I imagine Sugar can probably get a little bit more damage, as Sugar's just absolutely amazing with her bears, but, um, Versa Kainu, I wanted to include him here as we did use Sugar on the, uh, Croc team, so, that was the, um, strength variation, let's move on to the final variation now. Alright, so the final variation is up against the quick variation of Doflamingo, and for the first team I have built for you guys, we are once again using a Croc friend, and we do have the free-to-play Nami and Robin team, so this is our free-to-play team. Let's make sure we've got the right ship on. Beautiful. Let's dive in. Now, this whole team is built around cerebral and driven-based units and is mono-dex. It should work for a fair amount of time, but with this particular piece of content, 
the um, the main gimmick is actually despair. So what you can actually do when it starts to get a little bit too tricky is not run a friend Croc, but you can actually run a friend Roger. Roger just being a rainbow uh, booster as well as Nami and Robin being a rainbow captain means that just by using Roger, you can actually get around all of the despair and it works really, really nicely. But for the meantime, we want to try and get as many tickets as possible. And the best way to do that is to use Jinbei and Croc. Once we hit stage two, we come up against... Um, Gecko Moria, who gives us four turns of despair, which is one turn after your uh, preemptives. So we're going to use the Kobe special here. Kobe can give us a little bit of a heal as well as remove the despair and give us an attack buff, which is really, really nice. And then with that, hopefully we just have enough damage just with the attack buff against Moria here. Hopefully, hopefully, beautiful. You love to see it. Once we get to the final stage against Doflamingo, he is going to give us normal attacks only, and he has full immunity this time, unlike the other two stages. He gives us eight turns of despair and has four turns of threshold. So this is where using Jinbei is really, really nice. Jinbei is going to rotate unfavorable orbs and remove the threshold. We have the uh, Nami and Robin special to give us an orb boost, as well as getting some cooldowns as well. Don't stress about that interrupt. It's just because of the HP cut. We've then got Crocodile. Crocodile can remove the rest of the despair and give us color affinity. We've got the Hiyori special. Hiyori is going to give us an attack boost. And then we have a chain lock with our uh, Viola and Rebecca special. And with that, we should be in good stead. Unfortunately, we don't have a way of rotating orbs on this particular team. So um, just be mindful of that. You sort of just want to get lucky with the Jinbei special or save any unfavorable orbs from the previous turn. Uh, and try and have like max orb sockets on this particular team. So works fairly nicely, but a little bit of orb luck on the final stage. Let's move on to the big ticket team now. All right, so the max ticket team that we're using against the quick variation of Doflamingo looks a little bit like this. We are running a mono quick team with a friend crap Captain Croc and Croc Captain for ourselves, as well as using the free-to-play Jinbei. Now, Croc and Jinbei work really, really well against the quick variation, obviously because they have natural color affinity. And against uh, the quick variation, we get our cooldowns for uh, Dex, Psy, and Int units. So this whole team, or oh, besides Dofi actually, now that I'm looking at it, doesn't actually get cooldowns. So we do actually want to replace Dofi on this particular team with another orb, uh, sorry, chain locker. Um, otherwise, you can sort of stall out on these first couple of turns against the Turtles to get that uh, chain locking bonus. But I don't imagine it's super essential just yet. But because we don't actually get those cooldowns, because your, your boy's a spoon, as you guys know, you actually just want to replace Dofi in trouble with another chain locker. You can easily use something like Legend Rayleigh. You can easily use something like Viola and Rebecca. That all should work very, very fine. Once we get to stage two, we come up against uh, Moria. Now, Moria has get what gives us Despair uh, for... Well, it should go down to one turn, but we obviously don't have sockets on this particular team. We can easily remove that, though, as we do have the special of our friend Croc. And... With that, we would be using the chain lock there, but obviously we, we don't have access to that, so it is it's a bit of a yikes. But with just the color affinity and having Jinbei and Croc super effective against all types, we won't have any issues with this particular stage. We can easily just take it out. Once we get to the final stage, we come up against Doflamingo. Doflamingo has full immunity, unlike the other stages. He puts up four turns of threshold and gives us eight turns of gloom, which should go down to five respective to your sockets, but again, I just don't have this team socketed. We're going to use Croc special here. Croc can remove the despair as well as give us color affinity we've got um we should have a chain lock with the dofi travel special but unfortunately we don't have that we're going to remove the threshold with jimbei and then we can use nami and robin for the orb boost now nami and robin are great because they also remove paralysis which is going to be prevalent after stage 30 so finally we can wrap it up with our kid special and that way we can get an attack boost now you running something like um What's his name? V uh, V2 Rayleigh is actually going to be a really good shout because he can rotate orbs as well. I don't know if he does that when you're below a certain threshold, but getting those full border orbs will be quite nice as well. But nevertheless, this team's going to work fine. And with a chain lock, it's going to have a lot more damage. Let's move on to the final team of the video. Again, the max team, team the max damage team against the quick variation. And for the final team of the video, we're using the big damage team against the quick variation. Now, the way I've put this team together, it actually works with a friend Crocodile. So if you guys want to get some more drops, you can actually use Croc. But eventually, we're going to have to sort of change the team for more damage. We're going to replace Kid on this team with someone like 6 plus Ace, just to sort of reduce our HP. So we get the 5 times Captain from Zoro. But then that way, we'll have to run a Kid friend Captain, so then we can uh, 
get access to the attack boost that Kid can provide. But for the meantime, we are going to use... Ki um, what's his name? Uh, Croc. Croc's going to give us some more drops as well, which is really, really nice. And um, it should work fairly fine for quite a while. Once we hit stage 2, we come up against Moria. Now, Moria is going to despair us for 4 turns, which will go down to 1 with your sockets. And with the support of Sanji, we can actually just remove that easy peasy. We um Because we get despaired, actually, we lose like over 20,000 HP. So, now that I'm looking at this, we don't actually really have to worry about... Um, what's it called? We don't have to worry about bringing someone to reduce our HP. That, that's actually going to work absolutely fine. Um, on this particular stage against Moria, I do just plan on attacking, but for the meantime, we don't actually need both the orb boosts of Zoro and uh, Nami and Robin. So we are just going to use the Zoro special here to make it a little bit easier, as we still have a 2.5 times orb boost with Nami Robin anyway, as well as removing the paralysis. Once we hit the final stage against Doflamingo, he is going to give us 8 turns of Despair, which will go down to 5 respective to your sockets, and 4 turns of Threshold. So, we can actually remove the Threshold with our Jinbei special. We can remove the Despair with our Croc special. As well as giving ourselves Color Affinity, which is really, really nice. We can then use our Clash Croc special to give ourselves a uh, Chain Lock. Do we not give, it, give ourselves the Chain Lock? Oh, I think your Captain has to be Cerebral for that to work. Ah, oh, interesting. So, we need to replace Croc with just another Chain Locker. Ideally, someone that's Cerebral or Driven. Should work absolutely fine. Um, but for the meantime, I don't really see this having too many issues. Finally, we can use the Kid Special to give ourselves an attack boost. And then we can activate the Super Typing of Zora. Now, the Super Typing of Zora is another way to get Color Affinity. So that way, if you don't have a friend, Captain um, Croc, you guys will be in good stead anyway. So there you guys go. There was my uh, playthrough for the new Kazuna Do Flamingo. It was a little bit scuffed, but uh, we managed to get it done nevertheless. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, make sure to go down there and belt that like button for me. And if you're new to the channel, hit the big red subscribe button too. But guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world, please remember to enjoy the rest of your day. As always, homies, I thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Lights!